You know you're really beautiful in person, right? Thanks, Sam. That's sweet. You said you're from New York. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far from Orlando. I bet. Yo, did you finally get Tinder? I see you. Yeah, but I haven't really met anyone on it yet. I haven't really wanted to. Really? Yeah, she's pretty hot. Why don't you swipe right on her? There's just something about her. And Annabelle subtweeted him, and he liked it, which I don't understand, because if he's gonna like the tweet, that means he's on his phone. And if he's on his phone, he can't text her back, but he can obviously go on Twitter. I want to go on a second date. Yeah, me too. That'd be great. Wait. Do you have something in mind? Sam. A movie. You just got to see it. Sarah here. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab the tickets. It's okay, I'm here. Marlon, dinner! Hold on! This? Are you stalking me? What is this shit? I have no idea. Sam, what the hell? All I knew, all I knew is that I had to bring you here. Are you gonna kill me? Is that it? It ends with some freaking psycho stalker bullshit from Tinder. Is this a joke? Jesus Christ, Harlan! How could I possibly even do that? I was in the film at the end of it. Sam, just tell me what the hell is going on. Oh my God. Oh my God. You obviously know something. Spill it. <sighs> My brother and I were driving one night, and he was stupid and looked down at his phone. At the same time, I got a text from a random number. His friend sent him a picture from a party we were just at. A picture? <laughs> Jesus, Sam, I'm so sorry. He he didn't make it. Well, what did the text say? Use what's about to happen to help someone do what your brother can. Did you get any text after? Ryan died three years ago, and the text just started again last week. Well, what did they say? You'll know when you see her. Her meaning me? <sighs> I finally get it. What your brother can't do? My brother's dead. He can't live. I had to bring you here to show you to stop missing out on life because of your damn phone and just live in the damn moment. That's your problem. You worry about showing other people what you're doing instead of experiencing it for yourself. You know, my grandpa died three months later. And I'll never get to hear those stories that I missed again. Did you ever try tracing the number? It just led to a voicemail with the business address. I guess we have our third date picked out then. Sam Keywerks. 